Hello everyone and welcome to this demo. Today, in the following minutes, we will learn how to use Divisium to serialize data and remove the schema that it's added to each one of those record payloads, and then use an externalized version of the schema using the service registry provided by the Apicurio upstream project. So let's get started. Okay, currently I do have an OpenShift cluster that is already configured with um, Red Hat MQ streams and it has an environment created already in a project where we will be working called basic demo. So we will switch to the developer console. And now he, we have a MQ streams cluster with a uh, zookeeper, Kafka, and a Debisium connect cluster running that it's connected to our MySQL my database um, for uh, capturing the information. So let's see the uh, Debisium cluster. We can go to the uh, logs of this post and we can see that the um, Divisium cluster it's running, it's connected to our Kafka broker. And this started the uh, plugin for the MySQL connector and it will connect to our um, MySQL database and we'll start following the uh, steps to capture events happening on, on, on that database and, and the different tables um, in the configuration. So you can see that it has started correctly and that it's now connected to MySQL. Let's go to the uh, space to uh, query the information that it's in the database. So let's connect to MySQL um, database or the inventory database. And now that we are connected, we can um, try to check the uh, tables that exist in this uh, database. So we can see that there's um, address, customers, orders, products. But let's see uh, how many uh, customers do we have and the value of those uh, customers. So let's do a select on that table, the customers table. And we can see that we have four records, Sally, George, Edward, and Nan. Now let's see that the uh, uh, those records are captured and uh, exist in the uh, Kafka cluster. So let's connect with our demo cluster and connect with the uh, MySQL um, customers uh, topic. And here it is. There is the information on all the four records. And as you can see, it is it is a, a huge record. Each one of those. Because he, he, we, here we have the schema, so we do have the information on each one of the fields that are part of the um, uh, of the payload for the uh, before and the after um, on, on each one of the, those uh, events that were captured from the database. And if we scroll down all the way, we can see that we can continue to see that there's schema. This continue to be the schema. And then at the end, we have the actual payload that is what we really want to get from um, the, uh, the event that was captured, right? The, the actual values. Okay, so let's uh, let's get started with the uh, externalized version. So we will be using um, Red Hat Integration uh, Service Registry. So this is based on the upstream Apicurio Service Registry project. This is a registry that allows you to uh, save schemas for Kafka topics um, in uh, Abro or JSON schema or even Protobuf on other artifacts like OpenAPI and Async API. So we will need to know this uh, host name so we can uh, reference the service from the uh, same OpenShift cluster. Let's get back to our namespace, our project, and let's see the configuration of the uh, Kafka Connect connector so we are create a new we have created a division connector we can see the uh, configuration in the yaml remember we're using mq streams using the stream c operator so we can uh, define everything as code so let's create a new uh, connector using that configuration so let's create a new kafka connect connector we will just paste the same configuration we call it schema less and we will uh, use the prefix json as you can see here, we are adding some uh, new rows where the information on the uh, JSON um, serialization, and we are adding the URL for the uh, service registry. We are adding also the configuration for how to retrieve the, uh, the schema ID. 
So now that we created the uh, division connector, we can try to check that the uh, service is running and it has started. So yeah, we can see that uh, it is now started as a component on the uh, Divisium uh, Connect uh, cluster. Let's check the uh, the new topic that was created by the uh, by the connector. So let's do Kafka Cat on the same cluster, and now we are going to use the um, JSON prefix for this topic. And here it is. We have the uh, payload information only. And if you can see now, the um, records are, are, are uh, smaller and we have the reference to the scheme ID that was used for this, um, for this uh, record. So you can go back and, and retrieve that schema um, from the service registry instead of embedding the uh, schema on the, uh, on the same record as, as part of the, uh, the payload. Here uh, in the schema, raised in the service registry, we can see that all those schemas have been uh, created. Uh, for example, the customer's value that we uh, that we seen in topic, it is uh, referenced here. So uh, this is the um, different payloads that are available. Still, this is uh, this is very verbose, so we want to make it uh, make it shorter. So for that, we will use Abro. Abro is a way to serialize uh, data using schemas. But we use the uh, again the Apicurio uh, Abro converters, same uh, access to the registry, and we will use the compatibility mode for uh, other toolings. So now that we created the uh, the registry and now it is running, let's check with the uh, prefix Abro and check uh, that the information is there. And yep, now we can see that the payload is there. There are all the all four records, but now we can see that. It is still serialized and because it's just showing uh, strings, there's no way to retrieve the information. So what we can do, it's uh, change the value and now uh, run the exact same Kafka Connect uh, command, but use the Avro serialization. And for this, we just reference the uh, service registry in the compatibility mode. If we run this command, we get now back uh, the uh, record that we expected. So this is the uh, JSON payload that uh, Division created, but now in a human readable form. So that's a, a very quick way on how to uh, use uh, Division serialization. Uh, you can remove the schema using uh, Apicurio uh, service registry to just externalize the schema, or you can use it uh, together with uh, the Abra converters and being able to uh, serialize the data even um, in a more complex way so if you uh, really um, mind about performance and have the uh, the, uh, the converters and, and the serialization um, plugins to connect to the service region and then uh, capture the information so i hope you like this video thank you very much and stay tuned